G'day YouTube, it's Marty from Music Video Muster and today I want to talk about my favorite guitar heroes. So I'm going to count down my top five guitar heroes DVDs that aren't live concerts. Let's go. Hi and welcome back to my channel. Thank you very much to all the people who've subscribed to me already. I really, really appreciate it. If you're new to my channel and you haven't yet subscribed, please click the subscribe button now so you stay up to date with more content like this. Now there are just so many awesome guitar players and there are so many amazing DVDs of amazing guitar players that it was really hard to make a list of my top five favorites. To help make this job a little bit easier for me, I'm focusing today only on DVDs which have studio recorded music videos and not live concerts. Maybe I can do a video of my favorite live concerts another day. But for today, I want to show you some interesting DVDs in my collection. I think some of which are quite rare, so hopefully this will give you a bit of an idea what's out there if you're interested in expanding your own collection. Five. Alright, let's kick off with number five, and I've got Steve Vai. Alien Love Secrets. So Steve Vai's album Alien Love Secrets came out in 1995, I think, and this DVD came out a few years later. On this DVD is the whole Alien Love Secrets album with every track and a little video to go with each track. Now the videos are pretty simple. You can tell that Steve and his band have just hired out a studio for a day and they play in the same studio just changing their costumes and they're miming to each track on the DVD. But that's okay because you still get to see the guitar playing. There's sometimes a close-up of Steve's guitar neck so you can see what his fingers are doing and I think that it's a really cool video even if the quality is quite grainy. I'm pretty sure this video was originally released as a VHS which is why the picture quality isn't very good. In addition to all the songs on the album you also get the opportunity to switch camera angles you get Steve's commentary track by track, which is really interesting actually. He's got a great sense of humor and he talks about each individual track, his inspiration for the track, and gives you some stories about how he wrote or recorded those songs. All the music is mixed in 5.1 surround sound. And there's also a cool feature where you can look at Steve's discography up until that particular album was released. Now, even though the videos aren't very creative in this DVD, it's just so entertaining to watch Steve play. He's got amazing charisma, he's got amazing stage presence, and I think he's got the best guitar face ever. I mean, just look at this. Now traditionally in this kind of video I like to give you two of my standout tracks. The first one from this DVD is The Boy From Seattle. I've always liked this song. It's a little bit different to Steve's normal style I suppose because it's a clean tone for most of it and it just sounds really different from his shredding and metal sounding songs. After watching the DVD, I learned that the title, The Boy From Seattle, actually comes from Jimi Hendrix himself, and it made so much sense after I heard that. Of course, when you listen to this song, you can hear Hendrix throughout the whole thing. And that is Steve Vai paying tribute to one of his greatest influences on the electric guitar. The other track that I need to mention is probably one of Steve's best known songs and of course that's Tender Surrender. It's the final track on this album. It's technically brilliant and it's just beautiful. He plays these really nice jazzy sounding chords 
And then he moves into the solo, which is heavily distorted and really, really fast. And then it winds down again back to the jazzy, clean tone that you heard at the beginning. Tender Surrender is such an amazing song and I'm glad to have it on this DVD in the form that I have it in. And I'm sure you will too, so try and pick yourself up a copy of Alien Love Secrets on DVD. Four. Alright, coming in at number four now, I've got the Robert Cray Collection. This item was pretty rare. I looked for this DVD everywhere on eBay and the only copy I could find was somewhere random with really high postage. I almost never use Amazon to buy DVDs, but one day I happened to be browsing Amazon and I found a copy of the Robert Cray collection in the UK for a really good price. So I nabbed it right away and I'm glad I did. I'm pretty sure the original version of this video was released in 1991 and it was a VHS. The video was re-released in 2009, but you can tell that it was originally a VHS because the video and the sound quality isn't amazing. But still, it is such a good item to have in the collection and it showcases some of Robert Cray's best music, at least his best music from the MTV era. There is another Robert Cray DVD out there called The Best of Robert Cray. Now it's only got six tracks and this DVD has nine. The three extra tracks are I Guess I Showed Her, Night Patrol and Consequences. So I think it's worth tracking down the Robert Cray collection just for those three tracks alone. Now it's a pretty simple DVD it's just got the videos. At the beginning of each video, there is a little sound bite of Robert Cray responding to some interview question. And I really like that. I think it gives a little bit of insight into his philosophy on music. But the one annoying thing is that right at the front of the very first song, that little sound bite actually intrudes into the first part of the music video. So I wish they hadn't done that. But overall, it's an amazing DVD. So my standout tracks, the first one is Don't Be Afraid of the Dark. It's not an amazing video. It's a fairly standard and simple video, but what an amazing guitar tone, honestly. The thing that I love most about Robert Cray's playing is that clean and expressive tone that he achieves on his Stratocaster. It's just fantastic. And what an amazing solo on this song. I mean, every solo of his is amazing, but I really love this solo in particular. And the other standout track for me is Acting This Way. As a song, it's not overly impressive for me, but the video stands out because it is the only video in the collection which features animation. So you've got a little bit of a storyline in a comic book style. And I think that the comic book Robert Cray looks absolutely fantastic. So I really like this video. Overall, I think that the videos have become a little bit dated. The music has not, but even though the videos look a little bit old and cringy now, they've stood up fairly well. They could have been a lot worse, I think. So make sure you try and track down a copy of this relatively rare item. Three. Okay, number three on the list is SRV, Stevie Ray Vaughan. And this is Pride and Joy. It is the DVD version of a video that was released in 1990 on VHS. And it's so good to have this in digital form now. So on this disc, there's really great value. You get all his videos from 1983 to 1989, and it's not a 5.1 surround sound, but I think it must be Dolby Digital. So on my little surround system, you get the stereo sound through the rear speakers as well. 
and the sound quality is pretty good. Altogether, there are nine music videos, and you also get three tracks recorded at Stevie Ray's MTV Unplugged concert. So there's Rude Mood, Pride and Joy, and Testify. I'm pretty sure that the only place that you can see these live recordings is on this DVD. And it also has a couple of other things. It's got two songs with Stevie Ray's brother Jimmy Vaughan, and it's got a couple of TV commercials promoting his albums back in the 80s and 90s. Now, if I have to choose two standout tracks, the first one would be Cold Shot. This video is really funny, it is a little bit cringe, but I really like it. It's about Stevie Ray's girlfriend, who's getting really, really frustrated because she's constantly competing with his guitar for attention. And she ends up doing some really crazy things, and it's just very humorous. It really adds an element of fun to this already amazing song. Now, the other standout track for me is the live version of Pride and Joy. This is so, so good because most of the MTV Unplugged performances have a full band. By the way, I've made a video about my top five MTV Unplugged concerts. If you haven't yet seen it, I'll link it in the description. So in this performance of Pride and Joy, Stevie Ray is solo. He plays all the rhythm just by himself, he sings the song, he plays a little bit of lead incorporated into the rhythm, and that's really, really something, because to play the blues, normally you depend on having a drummer, having a rhythm guitar and a bass to back you up, but Stevie does everything on his own, and I think that is worth a shout out. Two. How could I not mention Eric Clapton? This is Chronicles, The Best of Clapton. This album was released on CD also, and I'm pretty sure the DVD has the same track list, but it's got the music videos, which is really, really great. Some of the music videos are taken from live performances. So for instance, Tears in Heaven and Layla are taken from the MTV Unplugged concert but most of the videos are studio-made music videos, which cover the singles from the albums Behind the Sun, 1985, up to Pilgrim in 1998. Now, I actually remember when Pilgrim came out, and I thought that it was a fantastic album. It's definitely a shift away from Clapton's earlier style, but he's had such a lengthy career and he's been able to evolve and stay relevant and reach new audiences. And that's why Clapton is God. And another quick fact about this DVD is it has the video for Forever Man and that was Clapton's very first video. I need to pick two of my favorite tracks or standout tracks on this DVD. The first one is Bad Love. It's a live performance and I think that they just capture the essence of Clapton really, really well in this video. And is that Phil Collins on the drums? The tone that Clapton achieves in this song is amazing. He uses a wah-wah pedal, and it sounds to me very reminiscent of his earlier days in Cream. It's got a fantastic solo, and that keyboard player is just so fun to watch. The other standout track for me is the title track of the Pilgrim album. It's a pop song with a really bluesy solo, and I think that Clapton gets the mix just right. The video is not anything really special, but it's quite different from a lot of his earlier videos. It shows more of a storyline, and I think this is a really great video. Now, before we get to number one, I wanna do a couple of honorable mentions. The first one is for Joe Satriani, and this is the legacy edition of Surfing with the Alien. Now, if you're a fan of fast guitar playing, I'm sure you already have a copy of Surfing with the Alien, but this Legacy Edition comes with a bonus DVD, 
and the DVD has 11 live tracks taken from the 1988 Montreux Jazz Festival. So that's worth having on its own. I don't think that those tracks have been released in any other format. It also has two bonus music videos. These are studio recorded videos for Satch Boogie and Always With Me, Always With You. So for the really keen fans and for the DVD collectors out there, I recommend tracking down a copy of this Legacy Edition. And I also want to do another shout out to Mark Knopfler, who doesn't have his own dedicated DVD of music videos, but there is this one, Sultans of Swing, The Best of the Dire Straits. It's Mark Knopfler. How could I not mention him in a video like this? If you ask me who my favorite guitarist of all time is, it would be so hard to answer that. But if I did have to choose just one guitarist, it's probably David Gilmour of Pink Floyd. Now, unfortunately, I can't include David Gilmour in this countdown because there aren't any Pink Floyd DVDs in my collection which match the criteria and are within the parameters of today's selection. But you can probably see behind me, I've got a decent amount of Pink Floyd material and I'll save that for another video another day. Wow. Okay, time for number one in my list of guitar heroes. My favorite DVD in my collection is Gary Moore, Ballads and Blues. So there are two versions of this release. There's the CD only version and there's the special edition with the bonus DVD. I found this item again on Amazon, which is unusual for me because it was much cheaper than the one or two copies that I saw on eBay and it came from France. I really like Gary Moore's playing and this collection showcases his pop sensibilities with his more ballad-like songs. Those were the ones that made the charts and also some of his more traditional bluesy songs. Altogether, there are 10 music videos. The 10th video is the live version of Still Got The Blues, but we also get the studio version of that track. It opens with Always Gonna Love You, which I think is the cringiest video on this album and probably my least favorite song, but then it picks up. The next track is Still Got The Blues, then we get Empty Rooms, Parisian Walkways, and the hits just keep coming. I think my favorite song on this album is Separate Ways. It's such an emotional song and it verges onto cheesy, but it doesn't quite get there in my opinion. The video is a little bit dated, but I still enjoy watching it. There's some animations which were pretty high tech for back in the day. Like most of the music videos I've mentioned here, the video has not aged very well, but the song has. Anyway, Separate Ways, a really beautiful song. Check it out. It was hard to choose a second standout track. They're all great, but I'll have to go with Still Got The Blues. It is such a classic. It's a rock ballad that I'm sure everybody knows. Maybe not everybody. Some of the younger generation may not know this song. So if you've never heard of Gary Moore Still Got The Blues, please go and have a look at it right now. This track is just so good. It's a classic rock song with an unmistakable hook. Gary Moore's guitar tone is always just perfect. And the amount of sustain that he can achieve on his Les Paul is out of this world. Just listen to this little snippet from Parisian Walkways. Are you still there? Gary Moore was an amazing player and his songs are all classic. Now I've chosen two ballads as my standout tracks, but that is not to dismiss the bluesier side of this collection. He's got some amazing blues songs which are collected here, such as Jumping at Shadows and Story of the Blues. 
So whether you're a fan of Gary Moore's ballad pop songs or you're more into the blues, this album is a must have for your collection. That's it guys. Thanks very much for watching. Thanks for making it to the end. I hope you enjoyed my commentary and my review today. If you like this kind of content and you want to stay up to date with more, hit that subscribe button now, like and share the videos. So I'll see you in the next video. But until then, please make some time to sit down, relax and enjoy watching your music. See ya.